Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks so much, um, Thea, for, for that outline. Um, the short space of time of the, the arguments for renewables and some of the concerns about gas. We've just got a couple of minutes for questions. So if anyone uh, had any questions to ask Thea, or you know, it might be a comment as well, you can pop them into chat. And I think Dee and Miriam might be monitoring that for us. So are there any questions you want to pose for Thea? We have um, Jenny, you've been great with uh, comments all the way through. So this is one from Jenny. Um, uh, how do we expose the donations from the gas industry that in turn affects policy? I mean, if there is that um, collusion, I guess. Okay. Um, the two organisations that uh, where you look at their website and see what you can find there, uh, the Australia Institute, that's the main one. Uh, so look up there and just kind of Google the Australia Institute donations, gas industry, you probably get what you need. Um, the other one is um, 350.org, who've done a lot of research. And yeah, um, fossil fuels and the coalition. You know, you Google these things and you will come across the, the sources of information. And these are the people who've done basically academic level research on that. Other questions? I actually had one fear, if I could pitch it in. Um, mm -hmm. So I was thinking you've outlined a whole lot of reasons um, uh, in evidence for renewables. I guess with the current, you know, announcements yesterday and today, what do you think is going to be most, what is most persuasive, do you think, for us to use? If you had to use one argument, what do you think is the most persuasive in the current climate, pardon the pun? <laughs> well, in this particular, like with this, this particular government, I do think they pride themselves on being economic managers. If we can show that this is actually not going to produce cheap energy, that is actually not going to be um, providing you know, the backbone of a resilient economy. In fact, it's going to be economically a disastrous. I mean, it, it's, yeah, it's a pity that that's what we have to fall back on, but it isn't going to be good for our economy. And they are going to be left looking like schmucks, frankly. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Um, 